So in this week's major news, AstraZeneca, the manufacturer of one of the COVID vaccines, has admitted that its vaccines can cause a rare side effect. The media and the anti-vaxxers are going gaga over this revelation. Being a staunch supporter of scientific medicine and vaccination, I believe it is my duty to inform the public about what is the fact about this revelation. In today's world where sensationalizing is the buzzword, with every media resorting to clickbait to grab attention, it is important that the common public be made aware on how to distinguish between fact and fiction. This video is to explain only the science facts behind this latest development in the vaccine industry. This video is all about what the media doesn't tell you. If you are one of the many people who have taken Covishield and you are afraid of the media reports that are coming out now, then watch this video without skipping till the very end. Hello, I am Anu and you are welcome to the channel which debunks pseudoscience and promotes scientific tempa. UK pharmaceutical giant AstraZeneca has acknowledged that its COVID vaccine can lead to a rare side effect known as thrombosis with thrombocytopenia syndrome or TTS in short. This is a medical condition where there is a blood clot in the brain or abdomen or somewhere else followed by a low platelet count. Now you know platelets are a very important factor when it comes to the clotting of blood and a low platelet count could mean internal bleeding. A very dangerous condition indeed. Upon first hearing this, one would definitely be scared. And it is mainly because Covishield, the vaccine which the majority of Indians took to prevent deaths due to COVID, was developed by the same company. So should you have anything to fear? Let us take a look. All media says that AstraZeneca vaccine can cause a rare side effect. Now most people will only see the words AstraZeneca vaccines and side effect. They don't clearly read the word rare and that is the most crucial word in the whole sentence. How rare is this rare? Let us look at some numbers. The chance of getting TTS after taking this vaccine is 4 in 1 million. That is 4 people could develop TTS when the vaccine is given to 10 lakh people. You do the math. Just look at this report from Australia where the rate of AstraZeneca related TTS was about 2 to 3 per 100,000 people who were vaccinated using the vaccine. Also, look at this published article from the AstraZeneca website itself dated 14th March 2021 where the company has mentioned about the numbers that they found during their clinical trial. Now, there was this rumor that the Johnson & Johnson vaccines which were mainly administered in the US caused blood clots. Here is the published article where it states the numbers as on 18th March 2023. 60 cases out of 18 million, out of which 9 died. In comparison, the risk of clotting events with severe clotting infection from COVID ranges from 5 to 25% as per multiple studies, which is exponentially larger than due to the vaccine. The risk of you getting hit by a lightning or dying in a car crash or dying due to the ill effects of tobacco or alcohol or even getting killed due to a bee sting is far, far more plausible. So if you don't have a problem with these and can live on amidst all this, why then is the fear for vaccines? I think everyone has forgotten how many people were killed during the first and second phases of COVID due to the virus. How can you disremember how people ran from pillar to post during the Delta phase of the pandemic searching for oxygen cylinders for their near and dear ones who were struggling to breathe. People forget old things very easily, I guess. And why is this in the news all of a sudden? Is this some fresh information that was revealed recently? Heck no! The scientific and medical community had known ever since they developed the vaccine that there is a chance of developing TTS. In fact, they had printed it in their pamphlet or packaging insert itself. That is the beauty of science, isn't it? It is transparent. If there is any adverse effect which has been found during the clinical trial phase, it would appear on print. No hiding truths here. Now, many media outlets like this one here are claiming that the company did a big U-turn here. 
there is no U-turn done anywhere if you go by the published research data. The medical community knew of these while they were developing the vaccines and they had published it for anyone to see and even inserted it in their leaflets. What more do you want? All this has now come out after a lawsuit which has been filed by a person named Jamie Scott in the UK who suffered a blood clot and bleeding in the brain after taking the vaccine shot in 2021. It has still not been proven with evidence that it was the vaccine which caused the blood clot as the matter is still in court. But the company has admitted that there is a rare chance of it happening. And this is not new news. This was known and was published at that time itself. Now, are you still scared about blood clots because you have taken Covishield? Well, never fear if you have taken the shots when the vaccine was released. Because all incidents of TTS happens within 21 days of taking the vaccine. 42 days max in some rare cases. So, if you have taken this vaccine, let's say two years ago, you can breathe in peace. You are not likely to develop any clots due to the vaccine now. So, if you go by the rate of adverse events occurring after vaccination and the time it takes for the adverse event to occur, one can see that you do not have anything to fear now if you have taken the vaccination when it was first offered to you. Please, please don't fall for the media claims which do nothing but promote fear mongering. To demonize the vaccine which could cause side effects in extremely rare cases when given to millions is not a reason for denying it. Because on the other side, there are several thousand cases of suffering due to COVID and even deaths. Additionally, one should not forget the effects of long COVID which are just as severe. Science, especially medical science, always goes by the risk versus benefit analysis. If the benefit outweighs the risk, then that procedure or vaccine will reach the market. Even after a vaccine reaches the market and people start taking it, the research doesn't stop. It goes on for years on end. And suppose if they find that there is an increase in the risk for certain age groups or certain population or certain individuals with specific conditions, guidelines are introduced to combat that risk. And that is why all countries, irrespective of whether they are developed or developing, gave the most available COVID vaccines to all its citizens. Because the world realized what the small virus could do if it enters a human being. And the medical industry certainly deserves a pat on the back for sequencing the genome of the virus within weeks of its surfacing and getting an effective vaccine within a year of the outbreak. Now to pour water on all of this because some media outlets and social media influencers want to sensationalize it through fear-mongering is outrageous, uncalled for, and unwanted. So, to conclude, do not fall for the sensationalized media reports about Covishield being harmful to you. Yes, it may be harmful to a couple of individuals, but on the other end of the scale are millions who escaped being hospitalized or died due to the virus. And demonizing something that is beneficial to the majority is like trying to set fire to your home to kill a rat. I hope you like this episode. If you are still unsure about how vaccines work, please check out these videos that I have done on that subject. I shall be back real soon with another interesting video that will be coming up this weekend. Do not miss it. Until then, trust science, for it works whether you believe it or not.